these guys have gone full circle, from bye 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 to hello again. NSYNC is getting back together and it's tearing up our hearts. But what have Justin, Joey, JC, Lance and Chris been up to for the past 23 years? Where are they now? What controversies have they courted and what has happened in their personal lives? We're answering all of that and more. Get ready, because this is not a drill. InSync is making a real comeback, and they're bringing a brand new single with them. The iconic 1990s boy band took everyone by surprise when, at the 2023 MTV VMAs, they graced the stage to present Taylor Swift with the coveted award for Best Pop Video. Just hours later, the big reveal happened, and this is what fans around the world have been eagerly anticipating. Justin Timberlake, Joey Fatone, JC Chassé, Lance Bass and Chris Kirkpatrick confirmed that they are set to drop a fresh track titled Better Place. What's more exciting? It will be featured in the upcoming animated movie Trolls Band Together. This monumental announcement marks their return to the music scene as a group for the first time since 2002. The lads are now in their 40s and 50s. They're a little older and a lot wiser, and it will be interesting to see if that is reflected in their music. Ultimately, Justin's most significant failing in his younger life was his tendency to withdraw when circumstances demanded his voice. He failed to confront rumors to protect his former girlfriend's reputation, never took responsibility for what may be the most notorious wardrobe malfunction of the century, and failed to acknowledge how he profited from a culture he never truly contributed to. But all of that is now behind him. At 42, Justin has owned up, worked on himself, and cleaned up his act. No more escaping accountability or mirroring the historical privilege enjoyed by many straight white men for centuries. Back in 2002, a youthful Justin Timberlake was thought to be worth approximately $10 million. However, if we fast forward to 2010, his fortune soared to a staggering $50 million. And in 2023, he is worth a remarkable $250 million. Given his tremendous success, one might expect Justin's garage to be a treasure trove of high-end supercars, luxury vehicles, and sports cars. However, in a surprising twist, while his wife Jessica Biel cruises in a formidable 730-horsepower 2018 Lamborghini Aventador, Justin prefers the familiarity of his dependable 2002 Volkswagen Jetta. Go figure! InSync went on hiatus in 2002, but has periodically reunited for special occasions, like their memorable performances at the MTV Music Awards in 2013 and the momentous occasion of receiving their Hollywood Walk of Fame star. Throughout these years, Joey Fatone has always managed to steer clear of controversies and keep his nose clean. Joey has carved out a thriving path in the entertainment industry, leaving his mark in both television and music. As of 2023, his financial success is underscored by a commendable net worth of $15 million. Most of his income throughout his post in sync career has come from his roles in movies and television appearances. And what does he splurge on? Surprisingly little. He says the older he gets, the more he realizes he doesn't need all kinds of possessions. He's always collected Superman stuff, and he still has a huge Superman memorabilia collection. And he bought the original Knight Rider kit car at auction. Throughout the years, Joey maintained a close friendship with Lance Bass. At 47, JC Chassé has also managed to avoid stepping into the limelight for the wrong reasons. Sure, he found himself disinvited to perform at the Super Bowl due to Justin Timberlake's involvement in the Super Bowl wardrobe malfunction incident with Janet Jackson, and the title and cover art of his album Schizophrenic, featuring him in a straitjacket, were severely criticized by mental health activists. But those were storms in a teacup in the greater scheme of things. Back in the day, it was JC's friendship with Justin that led to the birth of InSync. After InSync went on hiatus in 2002, JC embarked on a solo career as a singer, songwriter, and producer. His debut single, Blowin' Me Up, with her love, dropped in 2002. This marked the beginning of his journey as a solo artist. Following the single's release, in 2004, he unveiled his debut album titled Schizophrenic. Although it received mixed reviews, Schizophrenic managed to reach number 17 on the US Billboard 200 chart and has sold over 121,000 copies in the United States to date. Notably, Justin Timberlake contributed to the production of some songs on this album. JC's songwriting talent extended beyond his solo career. He penned songs for artists like David Archuleta and the Backstreet Boys, showcasing his versatility in the music industry. In 2016, JC expanded his repertoire by featuring in the musical comedy Opening Night, sharing the stage with fellow talents like Topher Grace, Alona Tal, Anne Heche, and Tay Diggs, adding another chapter to his diverse career. JC is worth around $16 million. 
He has a passion for race car driving, a pursuit he indulged in with a taster day in Arizona last year, courtesy of the Radford Racing School. He enthusiastically shared a photo of himself seated inside one of their race cars, flashing peace signs at the camera. Following this moment, he eagerly took to the track and let it rip. Lance Bass is 44 now, and in all these years, he only managed to cross the line once. Of course, it was when he hopped onto the Amber Heard Johnny Depp defamation trial bandwagon. Lance was drawn into the controversy when he took to TikTok to reenact Amber Heard's testimony. The backlash was almost apocalyptic. Many accused him of making light of domestic abuse. Once he became aware of the backlash, Lance hurriedly removed the offensive TikTok video and issued an apology. Ironically, he also received backlash for his apology. Lance has a net worth of $20 million. His autobiography, Out of Sync, was published in 2007 and debuted on the New York Times bestseller list. In July 2006, Lance revealed that he is gay in a cover story for People magazine and was awarded the Human Rights Campaign Visibility Award in October 2006. He also demonstrated his commitment to the sag after strike in Hollywood by ensuring that frontline actors didn't go hungry. At the heart of the entertainment industry, Lance joined the picket lines to offer his support for this momentous strike. Lance began dating actor Michael Turchin in 2011, and they exchanged vows in a 2014 ceremony attended by many of his InSync bandmates. In 2021, the couple celebrated the arrival of twins, Violet and Alexander, born on October 13th through a surrogate. For those wondering what 51-year-old Chris Kirkpatrick has been up to over the past two decades, the details remain somewhat unclear. Chris and his family have made Nashville, Tennessee their permanent home. He owns a beautiful mansion in Nashville and has several other properties in cities like Los Angeles and Pennsylvania. He ventured into the music scene by founding an alternative rock group known as Nigel's Eleven. In 2010, Nigel's Eleven released their album titled Clandestine Operation. Additionally, from 2002 to 2010, Kirkpatrick lent his voice as a voice actor for the Nickelodeon show The Fairly Odd Parents. And he made a surprising appearance on the reality TV show Celebrity Big Brother in 2022. Chris's net worth is pegged at around $11 million. He gets around in an Audi e-tron and a Range Rover. While he has steered clear of controversy, his wife, Carly Skladani Kirkpatrick, has not. She's facing criticism for retweeting posts that endorse the unfounded far-right conspiracy theories of QAnon. These theories revolve around baseless claims that President Joe Biden and other prominent Democrats are involved in a fictitious pedophilic conspiracy, an assertion widely discredited by experts and authorities. In the late 90s, InSync stood as one of the giants in the music scene. Alongside the Backstreet Boys and Britney Spears, they reigned supreme in the pop music arena, consistently delivering chart-topping hits that continued to captivate audiences well into the early 2000s. Now, there are rumors, rumblings, and blind items suggesting that InSync may have a reunion tour in the offing somewhere in 2024, but nothing has been substantiated or deemed credible as yet. All we can do is keep our fingers crossed.